welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a what I eat in a day. In this video, I'm gonna show you just a pretty normal looking day as far as eating goes. In the mornings lately, I haven't been eating a ton because like beginning of the week, we have our nanny here. So I'm literally, I lock myself into the in this office to get as much work done as possible while she's here. So I'm not usually spending much of that time cooking and preparing anything to eat. So that's why it's kind of random on what I eat, like grab something quick. And if you guys are new, I'm gluten-free, so I do not eat gluten in my diet. I get super bad stomach aches if I do. And then I also recently started doing the low FODMAP diet which is when you cut out certain foods that cause a lot of bloating and mainly broccoli, onions, garlic, avocado, beans. You can just Google low FODMAP images and it'll show you things to avoid, things you can eat, but I have been avoiding certain things and it's helped tremendously in how I feel. If you guys enjoy what I eat in a day, please give this video a like. I love making vlogs for you guys, so one little like really goes a long way. It helps out with my videos, and I would really appreciate that, so let's get into the vlog. Alrighty, having some coffee, making my to-do list, and I'm gonna link this coffee maker for you guys because I get so many of you asking. It is called the Mocha Master, and we love it. It's like a, an electric pour-over, right? Mm -hmm. That's what, okay, uh, and then... I just put in some milk. I had some grass-fed milk. I got the expensive stuff for me <laughs> for my coffee, but we're out of it. And I did find another one of these in our outside fridge. So I've been using this for iced coffee, but I've decided that I'm just gonna be using like better whole milk for my coffee because I don't get any stomach issues from just drinking dairy and it just tastes so much better for me. And I'd rather not have all of the, like, I don't like having all these ingredients. I'd rather just have one ingredient in my coffee. So that's what we're doing. The kids are all playing with balls down here. Balls down here? Balls down here? Whoa, Junie. They had a really exciting breakfast. Andrew laughed at me when he came downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> like I just your typical breakfast. Look at this. Banana bread and provolone and cheese. It's just all white. Also forgot to mention that I did a little bit of celery juice before I had my coffee. This is from Suja and I get this at Costco and it, it's best to drink this on an empty stomach. So drink it first thing in the morning before you have your coffee or anything to eat and it helps to just give you a little cleanse. It helps your digestion and I've been doing this for now probably a month, just a little bit and this will last you a while. Okay, so I've been in the office all morning long. I had a lot of campaigns to send over this morning, so I drank my coffee very fast, and I didn't make that much coffee this morning, so I think I'm gonna make another pot, actually, and then we can save the rest for some iced coffee. And I had one of these Bobo's Oat Bites, the lemon poppy seed kind, and I had two slices of provolone cheese. I don't know what it is, but I've been loving a little bit of cheese in the morning. It just kind of tides me over. And yeah, that was my exciting food. Pretty inspirational, huh? Okay, so I know that was not an exciting breakfast slash snack. So a few breakfast things that I do, I keep it pretty simple for breakfast now. I usually do water and celery juice first thing in the morning, then I'll have my coffee and I wait a little bit to eat. I'm not usually that hungry first thing in the morning, but when I am ready to eat, I usually do two eggs scrambled or over easy. Sometimes I add in a little bit of cheese, sprinkle a little bit of salt, and then other times I will do yogurt, granola, and blueberries or strawberries. And I change out the yogurt. I like the Siggy's yogurt though, just vanilla. And for my granola, I still love the Purely Elizabeth, the chocolate sea salt kind. So good. Since I don't eat almonds anymore, it was hard to find a granola without almonds. I feel like every single granola has almonds in it. So that one doesn't and it tastes so good. So I love doing that for breakfast because it tides me over for a really long time. And then sometimes I do gluten-free oatmeal. I don't do that as often. I feel like it's something I always forget, but that is another thing that fills me up and it lasts a while. It is 12 o'clock right now, so I'm gonna make some lunch for myself. I'm going to make myself a salad. 
and also some more coffee because one cup was not enough. I like to have two cups a day. Okay, I'm making my salad. So I'm doing baby spinach. This is just organic spinach from Ralph's. And I don't know why I've been liking just spinach a lot rather than, why can't I open this? Andrew despises salad. <laughs> it's so weird, I feel like it's just in his head. So I always eat salad for lunch. He will never want it. So we got that. I'm gonna do cucumber and red pepper. So I usually cut this up with, like right when I grocery shop, but I didn't this time. So I cut this up really quick. I have not been doing avocado, like I said, because of it's hard on your digestion, which I never knew. Okay, this one's totally fine. I'm gonna save this one for dinner tonight, probably. A few other like lunch things that I do for low FODMAP, I love soup, but again, like a lot of soups have onions. So it can just be a little tricky. I think like the easiest way to go about it is just do very simple things and you'll find yourself eating less processed foods because you want to know exactly what is in it. It's also crazy like um, just how much onion powder and garlic powder is in so many things. So a lot of the times, like before I was using a blend of spices and now I just do everything like individually, like just salt and pepper. And I won't do, you know, like a Mexican blend because that usually has garlic and onion. I'm gonna cut this pepper up too, like this other side, and I'll just save that for lunch tomorrow. But salads are a go-to for me, and then I add salmon or chicken on top, or I'll just eat like leftovers from the night before. So if I'm doing Mexican food, I haven't been doing black beans. Actually, I did last night, and my stomach was okay. Just do like a little bit of things. Just don't do, you know, everything in moderation. Just don't do a ton of whatever you're cooking. And you know, you can do rice, you can do chicken, sour cream, cheese. Oh, avoid cabbage, that's pretty hard to digest. Um, I use corn tortillas and then what else did I put on it? I think that's kind of it. I've just been eating kind of a little bit more bland lately. But other vegetables you can eat are carrots, you can do cucumbers, zucchini. Um, potatoes are fine for me. I've pretty much just been doing zucchini instead of broccoli. So whenever I do like a skillet meal, I do pepper and zucchini. And I actually really love peppers and zucchini, so it works out fine for, for me. So red pepper on here. I'm also gonna put some cucumber. Cucumber is just so good for you. I love the taste of cucumber, but it's also really detoxifying and good to just like cleanse your system. And then I'm gonna do some candied walnuts. I love some type of nut on my salad, and walnuts are one that I do a lot now because I don't do almonds on things. And last, some feta cheese. A lot of gluten-free products use almond flour in replace of other things, so that's something just to watch out for. And for my dressing, this is my favorite from Trader Joe's. Again, though, this has, I'm assuming this has, yeah, onion and garlic powder in here. So. Just FYI, if you guys are really trying to be strict, I wasn't like super strict with spices, but you never know if that could be affecting you, so. Okay, here is my salad, so good. I just love this so much, it's my favorite thing ever. And then I'm gonna put this in a little baggie or Tupperware for tomorrow for my salad, so it's all ready to go. Makes it so much easier. And then I can use these for hummus. I always want a little sweet too when everybody's napping. It's like my zen moment as a mom. So these are from Trader Joe's. They're the dark chocolate peanut butter cups. I'm gonna take two of those. Typically I would be buying the almond cups, but now I buy everything peanut. And luckily peanut butter peanuts are fine for me. Same thing with like actual peanut butter. Usually this would be almond butter but now I get peanut butter. So it's just kind of like finding little things to swap out. I feel like everything we used to have was almonds and I wasn't realizing how hard almonds were on my digestion. So anyways, as the coffee is cooking, cooking, 
brewing. <laughs> I'm gonna eat these. Got my second cup of Joe. I wanna give you guys an update of our backyard situation. So on Saturday, I will be out of town, but Andrew will be here with the kids. Somebody's gonna come over. They're gonna figure out how to get these rocks out of here. They are just like really in, in the ground. So Andrew's like questioning that one right there, but they're gonna try two things to get these out. Uh, and then concrete is going to be laid next Wednesday. So we will have a patio next week, which is so awesome. I am so excited. It'll be so nice to have more space for the kids to play around. And then once we do that, we will move on to demoing more of like the plants over there and then we can kind of re-landscape. I wanted to show you guys these bowls that I got at Crate and Barrel. I got them for my birthday, Andrew. I'm so picky, so now for my birthday or whatever, Andrew's always like, why don't you just pick a few things and that's your birthday present. So I picked these bowls. I've been wanting like wooden bowls in this section of our cabinets and I think it looks so cute there. So they're, I think they have multiple sizes, but I really like them a lot. I got four of those. And something I don't like is I got a few spoons, wooden spoons at William Sonoma and they are the worst spoons I've ever tried. Like I can't believe it. I got two of the, one of them is dirty right now, but I have two of the circular ones too. And a piece of wood chipped out of the top. I'm like, are you for reals? And they just like shred. They're really, really bad. Also, I got some bamboo ones at Home Goods, and they were like splintering. They were so bad. I'm like, what in the world? I got the set. I think they're bamboo ones too from Crate and Barrel for Andrew and I. They were on our registry. That was back nine years ago. And I literally just got rid of them because they were kind of on their last leg. Nine years. So I need to just order more of those from Crate and Barrel. They come in a pack. I think you get five. I will find them and link them below because I know they still have them. I don't know why I tried to get anything else. I think maybe because I like to just buy stuff like that in person rather than online just so I have it, you know, like instantly. But I should just buy them from Crate and Barrel. They're way better. So let me know, where do you guys buy your wooden spoons? I don't know why I have the hardest time with that. And I always get questions from people asking where ours are from. And part of me like doesn't want to <laughs> tell you because they're not all like the greatest. Okay, I wanna share some supplements that I've been taking. So for my, I have a ton, but these have kind of been the ones that I've been doing together a lot lately. I do Ritual as my women's, like a daily vitamin. I love these. So in here, there is magnesium, vitamin K, vitamin D. It's hard to read this in the back. Vitamin E, folate, iron, just like a ton of good things. Omega threes. This has been my new favorite addition to my supplements. It's the sulfurzyme, sulfurzyme. And I do two in the morning and two at night. And the reason I got this is because I've had so many people tell me it's great for your hair. It has uh, Ninja powder in here. It's also supposed to help with inflammation, joint health, just like so many things. You can look this one up if you wanna see more about that. Multigreens I love too, because it just has a lot of like essential things in that you might be missing in your diet. Here are the ingredients in this. So love that. I do like two a day of that. And then Inner Defense is a great immune support supplement. I take this in conjunction with Life9, which is a probiotic because Inner Defense really like clears you out. And I like doing the probiotic with it just so, you know, you want to keep the healthy bacteria. So it's like a good combo here. Uh, I believe it says to do this one like later in the day. So I'll do inner defense in the morning and then the probiotic at night or just like one in the morning, one at night. It's almost three. Everybody is still napping, shockingly. So I'm gonna try to scarf down some crackers before everybody wakes up. These are my favorite ones from Vans. They're gluten-free, the fibrous of veggie. So good, I've been getting them for years. And then just some organic, regular hummus from Trader Joe's. All right, it's almost five o'clock. I'm gonna make all the kids a quesadilla. So I'm doing turkey in it and some shredded cheese. And I always just butter the tortilla.
right, I'm making some ground beef. I figured we'll do tacos for dinner tonight for me and Andrew. I have my diffuser going and here I have one drop rosemary, five drops lemon, and a few drops of vanilla. That is the William Sonoma scent. It smells really good. And then I also wanted to show you guys this dress I got for Violet June's. It hasn't come in yet because Target stuff ships like separate, but it's for the end of the, end of the year program for school and I thought this was so cute. I let them each pick out their dress and this is what Violet picked and I was like, hey, good pick. So adorable. Kids are all upstairs getting ready for bed. That's more milk and having a little snack. I am getting Andrew and I's dinner ready. So instead of tacos, I figured we'll just do bowls. So I put more ground beef for Andrew. I have mine. And then I'm gonna put some cheese on top along with the beans and corn. Microwave that for a little bit. And then I'll add some sour cream, some salsa, and some of this cut up red pepper. Here's the sour cream. This one's from Trader Joe's. Have some pico from Sprouts. The rice and beans. Oh, I don't think I showed this. Um, this is leftovers. It's the roasted corn. It's frozen at Trader Joe's. My back is killing me, my neck. I was just playing with Owen, like doing the airplane on my legs and I turned my neck really fast and it just like kinked. All right, here are our bowls. They look super yummy. So that's gonna be it for today. I am spent and I cannot wait to just lay on the couch and watch a TV show. So I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye. Mama. You want me to be a monster? Be a monster. Okay. Oh, monster. Oh, always a monster? Come chase you. Come chase you, you better run. Better run. Go, go. I'm gonna get you. Whoa, he's quick. Can you wave to the camera and say good night? Good night.